The American Pickers actor has been disregarding the criticism leveled at him and teasing viewers about upcoming episodes of the History Channel program. Mike, 58, made an appearance in a video that his brother and fellow actor Robbie Wolf posted on Instagram. The siblings could be seen in the video holding what appeared to be a piece of the original Volkswagen Beetle's frame. Mike was in the back while Robbie held the front. Mike appeared to struggle with the bulky piece of metal at one point as they walked together with the assistance of a woman carrying the frame. Uncertainty surrounds the events depicted in the video, and it appears that viewers will have to wait until the program airs to learn more. Never a dull moment hashtag behind the scenes of at American Pickers, all in you episodes drop in July 5th on the At History channel, Robbie wrote as the description for the photo. Commenters look to be anticipating the future with enthusiasm. One person said, yes, among my favorite programs, I cannot wait. What you guys do is fantastic. A different person said, now that VW wall hanger would look good in my garage. Can't wait to hear the story behind this, said a third admirer. While followers reacted positively to Robbie's article, Mike has received criticism from some American Pickers followers for his Iowa store. The TV personality is the proprietor of Antique Archaeology, which has offices in Nashville, Tennessee, and Leclerc, Iowa. The U.S. Sun revealed exclusively that Mike's Iowa business selling items rather than genuine antiques bothered customers. Regarding the Iowa business, a dissatisfied consumer recently said on Google Reviews, Seriously, there was only a handful of goods that had been potentially picked. The remainder was made up of inexpensive Chinese-branded goods sold to advertise the shop. I understand that it is a tourist trap, but at least try to improve on it. If it was actually cool, I would have cheerfully invested hundreds of dollars there. Instead, there were three items that ranged in price from $200 to $4,000. This place is more of a memorabilia store for the show, a second customer remarked. Very few antiquities are present. Another exclaimed, was extremely disappointed. On our way home, we made a point to stop here and specifically chose this route for the occasion. Both structures are somewhat tiny, and the majority of them are gift stores that sell their own goods. I took a keepsake that was priced at $9 but was listed at $3. And where is it for as much as Mike and the crew choose? Great to see in person, said a fourth commenter. I was let down that the only thing for sale was swag. However, none of the interesting objects were for sale. The staff was excellent. Great location to stop if you're a fan of pickers, according to a fifth. Otherwise, it's just a store selling a lot of items with logos imprinted on them and some tacky antiques. On the store's Instagram, there are several images of antique archaeology mugs, tote bags, teas, magnets, towels, and other knickknacks. Even though Mike avoids internet controversy, he did, in a manner, respond to some of the complaints about the products offered by his company. Mike and co-host Danielle Colby posted a video of the interior of that Iowa store. The speaker made sure to include their sound engineer, who was sporting a green antique archaeology t-shirt, in the picture. The camera focused on the t-shirt and Mike exclaimed, he's got our new t-shirt on, with excitement. He replied, pointing to the emblem, I wanted to do army green this year.